everyone, I'm Deanna Corby with Deanna Corby Dressage. I'm a dressage trainer, instructor, competition judge, and USDF bronze medalist. Thanks so much for joining me today. Today we're going to talk about what a correct top line looks like. But before we do that, be sure to look just below this video and hit the red subscribe button just below this video and you will subscribe to my equestrian youtube channel to see new content every tuesday and thursday i mainly do uh, horse training tips rider position tips and product reviews if you have any ideas on videos that you would like to see be sure to email me your ideas i will put my email address up on the screen now so anyway, let's get to chatting about what a horse's top line should look like. This is Roman, my uh, eight-year-old Hanoverian. He just turned eight, and I've had him his entire life. And I started him as a almost four-year-old, uh, very lightly, and he is schooling uh, third level. He's pretty solid third level or, uh, at this point, maybe schooling fourth level. Um, so I wanted to show you what his top line looks like. He's not perfect by any means, but I wanted to use him as an example. Um, throughout his life, we've done a lot of stretching in his younger years. Uh, we have done a little bit of hill work and a little bit of pole work. And I've tried to do my best at getting him to always, always engage his back while we're riding. Walk, trot, canter. Um, so as you can see, uh, his top line is pretty straight away uh, uh, after his withers, his top line kind of goes straight out and then makes a smooth curve down towards his haunches. Um, he doesn't have, <laughs> this is what he thinks of, of my, my uh, remarks about his body, <laughs> uh, he doesn't have the thickest neck. He could have more muscle on his neck, especially right about here, but he has a pretty good top line and, a, and pretty nice muscles in his hind end. Um, so I thought that he might be a pretty good example for, for you guys to look at what a correct top line should, should be. Um, mainly what I look for as a judge and as a trainer when I'm working with someone new uh, what I want to look for is this place right behind the saddle. Does it go, does his back go low and then go high after the saddle? Kind of like a hunter bump or, um, you know, something like that. Um, if that's the case, I know at home in, in the, the competitors or my new students' uh, normal training, it could be better. The horse could be using his back better. Um, so if you look at the place right about here in the horse's back, it, uh, right after the saddle, if you look for that place to see if, if the horse's uh, muscles are depleted or if there's some shallowness right behind the saddle and then the horse's bum goes higher and he has muscles like on top of his, of his body, then you know the training isn't quite right and uh, the, the horse could be using his back better. Now there are some horses, or every horse obviously is built a little bit differently, and there are some horses out there whose pelvis is attached to their body a little bit like this, kind of rotated kind of down, and um, confirmationally their backs and their hind end will look a little bit different, but um, uh, that's not the case with most horses. So this is just kind of a general idea. Um, but if you, if you are looking at your horse's hind end, you want to see a smooth arc uh, curved downward and uh, no odd kind of uh, places for muscles, like right at the very top of your horse's hind end. Um, if you do have this with your horse, this kind of odd... Uh, musculature development behind the horses behind the saddle and uh, muscles in kind of odd places um, then you might want to consider doing more stretching work doing more pole work and doing more hill work just walking up hills trotting over ground poles 
and doing um, stretchy trot like what we have in training level and first level tests. Um, a good top line is important to your horse's development and to their musculature because they are then able to carry you better and carry themselves better. I'm going to put a few pictures that I found online of horses that do not have very good top lines so that you can see the difference. So these horses perhaps have not been trained uh, from back to front. They have not been encouraged to use their backs and their hind legs perhaps and that's why their muscles are a little bit different than uh, how you see with my horse. Um, Tracking up means that your horse is taking, is stepping his hind hoof in the front hoof print. And so that he is um, taking as long of a step as he possibly can. And that will encourage your horse to use his back and his hind end. Um, that will strengthen your horse's top line if he's tracking up and if he's traveling with his back and his abdominals engaged. So I hope you can see the difference in the pictures of the horses that do not have the best top line development and a horse that does have a very nice top line. You'll see that the, um, the back is a little bit straight away from uh, after the withers and it doesn't dip down and then raise up and that the horse's hind end is kind of round and full. That's going to be the primary difference in a horse that has a nice top line versus a horse that has a not so nice top line. Now a horse that does not have a nice top line isn't, doesn't mean that he'll never have a nice top line. It just means that um, perhaps you need to reassess your horse's training and uh, do the things that I mentioned like stretching in the trot, um, like hill work and ground pull work and uh, then your horse will have a better uh, looking back, he'll feel better, he'll feel stronger, and then he'll be able to carry you better. Uh, so anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you guys next week. Bye!